They are raining, I mean just pouring in here. Yeah. <laughs> what up guys welcome back to another one are you guys getting sick of the yo 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 because you know like I open it with every video and I think it's hilarious and I think you guys think it's hilarious too but but what's up guys and welcome back to another one today we're doing a special 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 video one that you guys have requested a ton and in a nutshell it has to do with three inch shells versus three and a half and full chokes versus mid-range versus you know improved cylinders versus modifieds. And basically what's my biggest secret to having so much success on killing birds in the field? A lot of you guys are like, wow, Bobby, you're such a great shot. Look, I'm not that great shot. It's just practice. It's that I hunt so much and I shoot so much. If you guys hunt and shoot as much as I did, you guys would be shooting just as well as I am. It's not that I was gifted or anything. It's just called practice. So what I'm gonna do is give you guys my go-to tips on my gun setup and the ammunition I use and why. I truly believe that this setup is the go-to setup for ducks, geese, anything. There are some circumstances that, you know, you might need a three and a half here and there, and we'll go through them. But real quick, oh my, look at that saucy, saucy lanyard right there. Very few of these bad boys left. I'll link them down in the description below. Go check them out. If you need one, go pick it up. So, first off, guys, we're underneath a nice little shade tree in the backyard. I didn't want to do it in the garage. You guys have been like, guy. Get back in the garage, get back in the flower chair seat, and give us some more Foul Fridays. Well, I'm wanting to do Foul Fridays and How To outside because that garage is way too hot. But let's kick it off. Three and a half versus three inch. One of the biggest arguments and debates that we can have in uh, waterfowl hunting. Do you need a three and a half or is a three inch enough? And here's my justification on that, guys. I have a Franke Affinity. That's my go-to gun. That's what I've had. I love this gun. I'm not sponsored by them, but I love my Franke. That being said, the Affinity is not a three and a half inch chambered gun. It's only a three inch gun. So it will not shoot that bigger shell, that three and a half. That being said, I don't need to shoot three and a half. For one, a three and a half inch chambered gun, as you guys know, is expensive. You're looking at anywhere from two to three to five hundred dollars more just to get the three and a half inch gun. Just depends on what brand you get. You guys know what I'm saying. So my deal is, is that I shoot a lot. I'm doing, you know, you know me, I'm gonna be till hunting, I'm gonna be big duck hunting, I'm gonna be goose hunting, I'm gonna be snow goose hunting. So all four of those things during the season of four to five months long, six months, if you're really in the conservation season at the end, I go through a ton, and I mean a ton of ammunition. That being said, I don't have the money to go buy three and a half inch shells. There, there is literally no way that I can afford box after box after box of a three and a half inch shell. So what do I do? I only buy a three inch gun. I've been shooting three inch for years, probably over five to six years that I have not owned a three and a half inch chambered gun. You guys see how many birds I kill. I, 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 this last season was great. I killed a ton of birds awesome success to this last season. The primary thing that's helped me get away from that three and a half is getting used to my full choke. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if you're, if you know that you're on target and you're peppering birds and you're feathering birds, you're knocking the butts off of them and they're still flying away from you, put a full choke on, put it on. Just go put it on. Get used to shooting this thing. Go shoot clays with that full choke. I'm telling you, once you get used to that full choke, it will allow you to get away from that three and a half inch shell. Now, one circumstance I can tell you that helps with having a three, three and a half inch shell is that when you're hunting out of tree rows and you're decoying birds at that 40, 50 yard range, that's when a three and a half inch shell with a full comes into effect. At that range, the three and a half really comes into effect. It gives you the range and it gives you more pellets at that range. 
So two things about a three and a half inch versus a three inch is that a lot more powder, a lot more range, and a lot more pellets. Sometimes, you know, in between 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 more pellets in that shell. So what I'm saying is what I'm getting to, I put a full choke in and I run a number two or BB three inch shell. That's it. I can do anything I want to with that. Number twos, I can go shoot ducks. Number fours, I can go shoot ducks. Number twos and BBs is where I shoot geese with my full choke. I do not go goose hunting anymore without a full choke. It's just not going to happen. I've had way too many days and hunts where I've pulled up feathered birds, feathered birds, feathered birds because we're shooting at that 30 yard and above range and I just couldn't get them down. Once I put that full choke in, game over. Last year I started dropping geese like a bad habit. Just freaking piling them up once I put that full choke in. I gotta stand up, I'm getting hot. So what I'm saying guys, if you're up in Minnesota, if you're up north and you're shooting them big old, big old, big old freaking honkers, now, the circumstances for you are gonna be a hair different. You guys might need those three and a halfs, okay? So I'm not telling everybody in the nation to get away from three and a half inch shells. That's not what I'm doing. Just, if you're like me and you're shooting a lot of ducks in the field, you're shooting a lot of geese in the field, and you're, get, you're able to decoy them, Within 30 yards, you shouldn't need a three and a half. But like I say, we don't get big honkers here either. Big honkers, it takes a lot of load to get them bad boys down. You gotta punch them hard. So all my up north guys, this this is this goes for you guys too, so take it with a grain of salt. If you're shooting nothing but them big honkers, you might want the three and a half. That's totally up to you. But if you're decoying them big honkers within 30 yards, you should be able to smack them with a three inch full choke all day long. Honestly, I think one of the best pieces of advice I got last year was from my buddy Jameson. He's the owner of Snows Down Low. When we went to Missouri for our snow goose conservation hunt, he was like, bro, quit freaking changing your choke because uh, you know me, I, last year, if you watch the videos, I was, we get some birds to come in, you know, 15 yards and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's close. Put in the mid range. Or, you know, we were popping them at 30 and 40, 45 yards. I'd go back to putting in that full. He was like, dude, you got to get used to one choke. If you keep switching up, you're never going to get used to crap. So that's what I did. I put in that full choke and the rest of the conservation season, I did not remove it. I only ran that full. And let me tell you, when you get used to your full choke, you start killing them. I mean, it's not that eh, you wound them and they go down. It's and they go. So real quick, I'm going to go through choke and what size of shell and shot I'm going to be using for teal, big duck, goose and conservation season. So for till, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave the full in. I'm gonna go to a three inch four shot. This is a three inch BB. So this is what I was using uh, for conservation season a lot was a three inch BB. This is also what I use uh, in the field for geese as well as three inch BB. I love three inch BB. You cannot go wrong with it with a full choke. Now, that being said, make sure your full choke accepts BB. Some of them don't accept double BB, triple BB. Some of them only go up to two shots. So make sure your choke accepts BB. Now, when October rolls around, October, November, December, when Big Duck, I will keep the full choke in as well. And I'm going to have BB in my bag and number two shot in my bag. Throughout the season, what one of my tricks in my blind bag is that I run, I, I always have BB and two shot, three inch shells with me at all times. If ducks are doing it, I put in the two shot. If I'm shooting geese, I put in the BB. A lot of times with snow geese and these lessers and cacklers here in Kansas, I can shoot the crap out of them with the two shot. But for the most part, I always keep number two and BB three inch shells in my blind bag at all times. Never removing that full choke, ever. But a little, here's another good explanation for you guys. If I'm laying in the field in the decoys in white, we should be decoying the birds closer. So the geese should be closer. That being said, I will use number two quite a bit if I'm laying in the decoys. Now, if we're in an A-frame blind in the trees, I'm gonna be using BB all the time. If I'm gonna be in, a, in an A-frame in the trees on the edge of a field, I will not take the BB full and the full choke out of my gun. That's gonna be what I'm using the entire day. Just because, not being in them decoys, you're gonna be decoying them birds farther away. You gotta add 10 to 15 yards because being on the edge of the field, it's hard to get birds to land all the way up against that tree row to shoot them at that 15, 20, 25 yard range. It's hard. 
So that's my deal for geese. Geese, I'm always running BB. I always have, especially the Canada's, I always have BB3 inch on me with the full choke at all times. Now for snow geese, you know how it is. You put on the old extension tube, you start freaking racking out the old three inches all the time, it gets expensive fast. So what's your boy do? I load up on number twos and cheap BBs, the cheapest ones I can find on the internet. Rogers always has really good sales on ammunition and uh, that's kind of where I pick up my conservation <laughs> cases per se. But guys, when I'm switching back and forth from number two and BB, the difference is, is that number two obviously has more BB. So if, if we're decoying groups of snows, and I want more BBs to try to get one to two birds per shot. If they're really getting in tight, I go to two shot. But for the most part, we all know you always have to pick a bird and take that bird. Always pick a bird and take it. The BB never lets me down. I love three inch BBs. Best in the world. But I know, I know, we're at the house. This, this video was a little boring, but I, I'm sure you guys really enjoyed it. You guys want videos with information. And like I've been saying, I'm here to cater all you beginner waterfowlers out there. This is the stuff that you guys need to learn. You guys are asking about it. You need to learn these things. So if you guys enjoy these videos just like this with information, drop a huge thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Be like, Bobby, yes, you need to do more of these informative videos because this is what I need to know. And whatever you guys are wanting to learn, drop a comment down below again. Let me know. I love teaching you guys. I love sharing my knowledge. I don't pretend to know everything. I just like to help you guys. That's what the channel is here for. But we're going to wrap it up here. One more little explanation for you guys is this is one of those, you know, who's got the bigger you know what. A lot of times you don't need three and a half inches. You don't need three and a half inch shells. If your buddies are like, oh, I only use three and a half because they're the biggest, they're the best, yada, yada, yada. And you don't have the money for it. Don't worry about it. I was that guy too. I was always the guy like, man, my pockets are slim. I gotta buy three inch, guys, I'm sorry. Put in that full choke, guys. Get used to the full choke and the three inch shell will give you all the range you're ever gonna need, except for maybe the big, big giant honkers. But if you're within 30 yards, they'll be smoked. But yet again, if you guys need a new lanyard, Go pick one up, and if you want any of this Ducks merch, I'll link it all down in the description below. I really enjoy doing these how-to videos for you guys. I, I know you guys like them a lot. Uh, for me, you know, I like to get out of the house. I like to go sling the gun around. I like to go fishing. I like to go magnet fishing. I like to do all these things, especially I like to hunt. That pigeon hunt that I just posted was a lot of fun. But we should be getting on a couple more pigeon hunts, hopefully this weekend, so stay tuned for those. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for hitting that thumbs up button for subscribing and watching my videos. Without you guys suggesting things down below, I'd be lost. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, and, and hit that little notification bell. You get notified when I upload. I think YouTube's been having some trouble giving people the old notification when I upload. So make sure you go hit that bell. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm going to shut up. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.